127 North Kenwood. It's this one right here. Can't really see on the roof, it's got those flat roofs. Uh, cool uh, brick paved road out front here. Seems like a pretty nice area. There's a school like just a couple blocks up the street there and right at the end of this road here is um, Patterson Park. Parking spaces out front here and then parking along the side as well. This is one of those kind of older townhouse things. We got a uh, nice uh, marble stuff on the front stairs there. Then we got this little uh, little front entryway area thing with the uh, tiles on the side, tiles on the floor, another marble step there, wood paneling. Some old wood doorway stuff looking pretty cool there. Um, this main floor is is fairly open. It's it's, uh, it's pretty open. Uh, the kitchen, you see, there's a little closet there and a little kind of half wall thing there, shelves. But uh, if you move the closet and or just took out that little thing there, I mean, it's pretty open. From here to that little shelf wall thing is uh, 31 foot seven. And from side to side is 12 foot 11. There's tile on the ceiling in both in this uh, front area here. Some heavy plaster stuff on this little median thing there. Um, plaster stuff, pretty thick stucco plaster, whatever that is on the front here. Um, yeah, tile on the ceiling. Trim looks trim looks all right. Paint's coming up a little bit there. Um, that's the only part with the thick trim. The rest of this room has this real small trim on it. Old wooden floors. I don't know if those could be cleaned up or not. They look kind of, they look fairly dirty. And wood paneling all on the rest of these walls here. A couple of holes in them there. Uh, this front window here is a vinyl window, but it looks kind of old. It's a little bit chipped up. I don't know if that one works or not. Trim around the window looks good. Staircase is kind of narrow. It's got an old wooden banister thing here. This closet. Doesn't really look like there's any ductwork or anything in this closet, so you could probably maybe move that up to a front corner or just take it out if you wanted to open it up here into the kitchen. Yep, kitchen is 12 foot 6 by 14 foot six cabinets and cabinets and countertops all need to be replaced floors are just a little bit uneven they're not too bad for it being an old house I think uh, vinyl window on the back there it's a little bit dirty but it doesn't look too beat up I think that one would probably work it's a nailed shut at the moment this back door and the door jam is pretty beat up backyard here I'm pretty sure this is um, central air, AC, heating, whatever, but there's no, there's no unit, there's no outside unit back here. Little alleyway thing here, I can't get the gate open, but uh, I don't know if you could put parking back here or not, there's a little ledge, there's a little ledge there about maybe about six inches, and then there's this concrete pad here, so. I don't know, if you took out this fence and beveled the concrete there, maybe you could put a parking pad, although it's pretty narrow back here. It'd be pretty pain to uh, to get in and out of. Back of the house here has got this plaster stucco stuff on it. Uh, gutters, downspouts look good. There's an AC window unit above the door here. Oh, also, uh, some of these houses, actually only one that I can see, this one here has got a, uh, a rooftop deck. So uh, these are all pretty much identical. You could probably put a rooftop deck on here if you wanted to. Although that one's got a back porch that's, that has a door to the inside to the back porch. There's no door at the moment here where you'd have to put a doorway. I gotta grab my flashlight first, so we'll do the upstairs first. 
Uh, upstairs, we got wood paneling, kind of flimsy, ugly looking wood paneling on the walls all around the hallway in here. This looks like uh, it's open to a skylight. Yeah, there's the skylight up through there. I don't see any water marks up there. It looks like it's probably sealed pretty good. Um, so this upstairs area, we have three bedrooms and one full bath. This is the back of the house here. This bedroom is about 14 foot four by eight foot at the widest spots. And then we have this little cutout thing coming in and then the closet area there. We have a uh, real heavy wood paneling all on the walls in here. And there's wood panel stuff on the ceiling as well. Trim around the bottom looks good. Looks like you could use that. Um, this window needs to be replaced. It's cracked and it's really flimsy vinyl window. We have a bathroom. This is also at the back of the house. It's got some kind of old looking ceramic tiles on the walls. The tiles are in good shape. They're just kind of ugly color. This vinyl window here works. Works fine. Looks good. Toilet looks fine. Tub. It's one of those big heavy tubs. Looks good. It's plastic around the tub itself there. And uh... I don't know, maybe there's tile, maybe there's tile behind this plastic stuff. Kind of looks like it. Tile all on the ceiling and stuff as well. Sink looks good. And then these other two rooms, this one's kind of off to the side. This one is 13 foot 2 by 8 foot 1. There's the closet, it's got a little skylight there. That's the only that's the only sunlight coming in through the skylight. Uh, wood panels on all the walls in here, painted wood panels. Trim around the bottom looks pretty good. Floors, old wooden floors. I don't know, I don't know if you could clean those up or not, but. Yeah, and then this uh, front bedroom, there's a doorway from, from that room to this room, and then also another doorway into the hallway there. This room is 13 foot one by 15 foot one. Vinyl windows on the front here, they look a little bit old, but they look like they work. Yep, uh, windows look like they work, they're not broken up or anything. Uh, wood paneling on all the walls in here, and uh, dropped tile ceiling up on the top there. There's H, there's a air duct there. Yep, another hallway closet. Nice old wooden banister. And down in the basement, we also have this really heavy uh, wood paneling on all the walls up in this front area. And back there, it's just bare. Well, there's wood panels on the stairs, but over here it's just, you know, the utility stuff. There's no, no wall. Um, this area here is 12 foot one, and then from the stairs forward is 17 foot seven to that little closet there. It's an old wooden window here. A couple closets. There's a big water tank in this closet thing here you can barely open. This one looks like it's just storage. Look, there's a shotgun in here, it's kind of cool. And back here at the back. Uh, basement seems pretty short as well. Let me see here. Yeah, it's definitely short. It's five foot 11. Five foot 11 to the beam. This front part's got tiles on the ceiling. And then uh, HVAC unit thing here. Looks a little bit old, but clean flame sensor, cycle, blah, 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 2011. Seems like it's in decent shape. And then the water heater looks like it's in pretty decent shape as well. Everything looks connected. And then over here in this corner we have the electric box it is 100 amp. Looks a little bit, a little bit old, but everything's connected. It all looks alright, I guess. Electric meter thing there looks good. 
And then there's a little raised toilet thing over in this corner. Utility sink, big cabinet, stuff like that. Alright, that's it.